Good morning, friends. This is Tony from Historic American Homes. I wanted to share with you a brief video. This is going to be the first in a short series. I hope to keep it down to maybe three or four at the most. The other day I was walking home from the grocery store and I got this idea. It formed itself in my mind for a small mid-century modern inspired home. And so I thought, okay, this is a good one to start and share with everyone. The idea was built around a core of services, bathroom and kitchen, utility room, all sort of around a central core. And then on one side of the core would be a big living space with an open kitchen and a sitting area. And on the other side of the core would be two bedrooms, a larger bedroom and a smaller bedroom. Each would have its own bath. The smaller bedroom could also serve, uh, it could serve as a child's bedroom, for example, but it might also serve if it was a home for somebody who was retired or single as a guest room or a home office. So the bathroom for the smaller bedroom would be uh, compact, small enough. And then the larger bedroom would be a master bedroom with a walk-in closet, plenty of closet space and a larger bathroom. It would have a tub for soaking and a shower. So there'd be you know some luxury to it, but still compact. And then a big open sitting room area with a kitchen. So what I did was to start with this was I went into my file here, which is my SketchUp file. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about SketchUp. So if you have SketchUp questions, please do leave a comment and I'll be happy to cover it in the next video. Well, I've got your attention. I just wanted to ask you a quick favor. Please click that like button if you're enjoying this video. It makes a big difference. Also, I'd love to have people's comments. So if you've got ideas, suggestions, questions, please do leave a comment. I'm rigorous about reading them all and answering them to the best of my ability. I never delete anything unless, of course, it's obviously spam. In this channel, I'm trying to cover a variety of architecture issues, some of them directly related to SketchUp and, and layout. So if you've got some questions about using SketchUp, please feel free to ask. Others are more design oriented. And then I do occasional things like a book review or a feature on a historic home. So these are all different kinds of things you'll find on my channel. I hope you will explore around a bit. There are playlists of, for various interests. And uh, that's all. Back to what we were working on. Thanks. But uh, this here is my SketchUp file of bathrooms. All kinds of bathroom stuff. Cabinetry and appli appliances, fixtures, all of that stuff. And whenever I make a new bathroom, I often start right in here because sometimes I already have one that I've already made I can reuse. So I went into here and I created this little block that shows the main bathroom for the master bedroom and the secondary bathroom, which is also going to be serving visitors to the house. So it needs to open into a hallway rather than directly into a bedroom. And then a space that can work for services and utilities, laundry, water heater. So that was where I started. Then once I had that, I copied it into my template file, which I've been refining. And so we have here the two bathrooms in the utility room. And then I've backed against it the kitchen, backed up the kitchen up against it. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to have an entrance from this side. And then a passage leading to the bathroom, the utility room, and the smaller bedroom. And on this side, a passage which also includes the closets leading to the master bedroom. And then big open living, living space. So I'm not going to show you anything more about what this house is going to look like yet. You'll have to watch the next episode if you want to see that. But I'm going to use some nice, a uh, very modern vocabulary of windows and doors and an open space. And I'm going to have a fireplace in the living room. Anyway, step number one. Come back for step number two soon. Thanks. Have a great day.